Well, Danny, a 7 0 away win. How does that sound? Yeah, lovely. I think obviously today we we knew we had to come here and make sure that we were uh, ready for it at the come and um, just make sure that we've done things right. That was the biggest thing today. I think obviously the professionalism in the performance they showed, and I think obviously you get a couple of goals early, and then all of a sudden the, the wind was um, right behind us as well. So I think obviously I think it was 30 seconds when Scott you just nodded wide. So it was great to see that we were on the front foot straight from the from the off. Um, but overall, like I said, them in there, no matter what, we were, we wanted to be in the hat at five o'clock or Monday. Sorry, so we've done that, um, and now we obviously move on to the next one. Uh, you've played in the competition as a player, of course, in your time with Carlisle United. But uh, managing, a bit different. You've had mixed success so far with uh, your earlier ties, but uh, that makes up for everything, I think, this afternoon. Yeah, I think I think that's my uh, I think it's only my second win in the cup. So um, look, it's 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 a special cup. Everyone knows that, and that doesn't matter whether you're aiming for the first round or the third round, the semi final, whatever. It is a special cup, and we want to try and have a little bit of a run in it and that's what we sort of said as a group that this is places like these will be what you'll remember if you end up doing getting further and further in the competition so we've come here we've done our job um, and the boys have been fantastic overall for me it's a perfect performance we've, we've had um, a lot of good goals scored kept a clean sheet some great football played I've been able to get minutes on the pitch for some of the injured boys coming back I'll be able to get lads off the pitch who I think just need a little bit of a freshen up so overall for me it's been a perfect day today. Uh, there's no easy game till you win it of course but uh, I think that game was one in the dressing room the mental approach seemed to be right from the off. Yeah that was something we spoke about before the game I think obviously when you turn up and it, it's obviously there's not a lot the club can do when the weather's been as bad as bad as what it has the, the pitch was dry there's not much grass on it things like that we knew it was going to be a little bit of a fiery one so um, I said to them before the game that they had to approach this properly. Um, it's been a tough week for us all, and like I say, we needed to make sure that no matter what, there was no excuses in the dressing room. And credit to the boys, um, they've been fantastic this week, and, and it's shown that again today. Uh, you tweaked the uh, playing system, it looked more a 3 5 2. What, what was the thinking behind that? Um, I just obviously, again, I wanted to be on, more on the front foot. I think obviously I wanted plenty of attackers on the pitch. Um, when I've got Cass there, I know that Cass is just going to sit in front of that back three or back four. Um, he's so good at that role and, and, and it showed today again it gives them people like to Dav and Hoops and Birchie and, and players like that when they're in the team Parky that they can get forward and they know that they've got that safety net of cast sitting there so um, I was just delighted like I say to be able to um, get as many attacking players on the pitch as I can I wanted to be, us to be on the front foot um, and, and really get after the game and I thought we did that today one of those trialists, uh, sorry, one of those defenders was uh, Eco, the uh, Eco Coca, the centre half. Yeah. What's the situation with him? Is he still on trial elsewhere? Yeah, he's on trial at the, um, elsewhere, um, and it's just when he goes back to that one. So um, obviously, we're hoping that he's going to be with us for a little bit longer this time. Um, but until that situation, which we don't want to stand in the way of anybody who's chasing a dream of playing for a professional club, and, and we want him to go and do that. So, like I say, fingers crossed, we can uh, make sure that if when if he is unsuccessful, that he's ready just to step in with us, which he's more than happy to do, which he obviously is shown here today. And as a, de a defender yourself, you must have been delighted with that tackle he made in the first half. Yeah, I mean that there at four nil, um, just before half time, it, it's a tackle there. That it, look, it, when it's four nil, you sort of switch off a little bit. Um, we got ourselves into a, into a mess with one long straight ball. We weren't switched on enough. But his recovery run and his tackle was fantastic. So no, over the moon. I'm delighted for for Jim and the back four and uh, back three and the defenders and all the team really to have another clean sheet today. So it's something we want to build on tonight. It's been a difficult week, and I'm referring to uh, Stephen Rudd's departure. Uh, what, what's your thoughts at the end of this week after your, you know, your trusted assistant has moved on? Yeah, it's been that. It's been a real tough week for us all. Um, there's no hiding what I think of Rudy. He was my right-hand man when I was first here, and I wanted him to be here for for this spell as well. But we've got to respect what he wanted to do. Um, there's things that he just felt that. It was time for him to have a change and a, and a change of direction. Um, obviously, he came and sent the boys on, on Thursday and, and it was a tough night. The, the boys physically emotional, as was I and, and Rudy as well. So I think we can't forget what Rudy's done for this club, not just on the pitch as an assistant and as a coach, but away from the club, the, the work that he's put in behind the scenes when he's going to youngsters training, he's going to see the development lads, he's, he's doing all these things and it's... It's not something he has to do, it's something that he's wanted to do and, and I think we can't forget that what he's given to this club has been second to none um, and he will be a miss but like I say, 
and it's something that we have to get on with now that unfortunately he has decided that it's time for him to step away. We have to move forward because football doesn't stand still. But me personally, I can't thank him enough for what he's done for me. Uh, not only as a as a mate, but as a coach standing next to me, he's, he's never let me sort of get ahead of what we needed to be. Um, kept my, kept our feet on the ground and, and we worked well together. So whatever he does, I wish him all the very best. But he will be a sore miss for us all. Yeah, we all uh, echo those sentiments. What about moving forward? Any uh, thoughts on the success at the moment? Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of conversations this week. Um, one not so su- successful. Um, it, it's a big commitment for people. So, um, like I said, I've had a couple of conversations and, and I'll be chasing them up sort of early part of this week. But I'm lucky. I've got a dressing room there. I mean, you look at the experience in the dressing room and, and the lads and things like that. And I can't have asked any more for them today. Do you know what I mean? This was a day when we could have come here and had all the excuses in the world of the unsettled week and things like that. But they've stepped up. Uh, Tinner's obviously has been great as a captain. He, he's there when I need him, talk to him and things like that. And any sort of opinion I ask, he's, he's given an honest one. And I've got plenty of other experienced ones in there. So Scotty, I'll help me on Tuesday night. Um, and it's just going to be a case of until someone comes in, these senior boys keep stepping up as they're doing now to help me through until we're sorted. Danny, well done today. Thank you very much.